Hey guys, it's Garrett Stewart with Command Console and super excited to go over uh, some new features with the Command mobile app that just released. Uh, so you can see here in the App Store, uh, it'll show version 1.8. Uh, just released and some of the new functionality here. Uh, the big one we're going to be discussing today, import your phone's contacts to command. Uh, this is super cool and an easy way to get your contacts from your phone directly into command. Uh, you can create new tags as well um, for contacts in there as well uh, instead of just relying on ones that were already made and you can see some of the other features. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, so I'm here in the command app already and I just clicked on contacts. You can see that little tab I have selected at the bottom uh, for contacts. Uh, from there you're going to see a new option up there in the top right that says import. So what you're going to do is you're just going to hit import and it's going to pull up your contacts from your phone. Uh, so these are your phone contacts and so I'll just hit these two here. Um, obviously it's alphabetical order by first name so you can just select the ones you want to import. Um, I would just be very careful and not, uh, not going too crazy here and you know add them as needed uh, instead of just necessarily uh, a mass <laughs> import and we'll talk about that here shortly. Once you do that you're gonna hit continue. This is going to ask you begin import. Uh, you can't undo this so okay we're going for it. We'll hit continue and you can see just like that uh, and just and I wanted to preview this since we were importing too. You, you can see um, contacts not imported. The following contacts could not uh, import and it says that and I could say share details uh, and it, it could just send out uh, from there for whatever reason that was. Um, but uh, we'll, we won't go over that but basically it was a conflicting phone number. I had a test number in there um, and that's why it didn't import. So it is catching that stuff to hopefully avoid those duplicates um, in there too. So uh, that's more most likely the case if an item phone number or a contact is not import, likely a phone number or email uh, confliction there. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what your next steps are. You've imported them into command, uh, into your command app. Let's go to the desktop as I think that the next step and going to, is going to be a little bit easier on desktop. And this is one thing I'd suggest you definitely do once you import contacts from your phone. All right, so we switched over to Command Desktop and what we're going to do is we're going to um, find those contacts imported at that time and we're going to start to add tags to them because one important thing you should know is things like tags are not getting added to them when you import them. So you want to be able to identify and sort them out from there. Uh, and this is why I suggest not necessarily doing a big bulk of importing your entire phone list um, at one time. Uh, maybe do it in portions uh, and then that way you make sure you have uh, everyone uh, in the way they're supposed to be so it's not as much cleanup later. Uh, so what we're going to do is we went into contacts here and I, I cheated slightly I just put this in already as a, as a fake tag just so we had all fake info here um, and with that um, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, let's just say we imported the contacts in and we want to find those contacts we just imported. Well, the only way really to do that, uh, which we, we have this one contact here and we can click on here and we can see that the source did change to phone import. So we could uh, uh, go into your contacts and, and sort by uh, that phone import source. But honestly, what I'm going to use and what I might think might be the easiest, just if you just imported them, is just go into this customized column section and you're going to, if it's not selected, which it's not for me, whoops, is the created button right there. So go ahead and select created. That's going to drop it into this sort box here. I'm going to just drag that up to the top. I just click, hold and drag that up. Uh, that's going to put it into the first column here. So when I hit apply, sure enough, now that's created there. Now, once you have that column, you can actually just hit that button to create a drop down to show when they were created. So you can see this happened just seven minutes ago um, that this uh, imported in. So I can do that. So at that time, let's just say we had a few in here. You could select a few at a time. And then from there, let's just say, hey, those are uh, buyers. These are sphere. This is, you know, whatever it is, you could select those at any given time, whichever ones you have and start tagging them. So you can just add a tag right there and start going through your tags 
uh, to add them in. Uh, so, and of course you have other, you can add a no, add activity, uh, in bulk right there so you can make sure that uh, those details are all in there and of, of course tags are my favorite way to organize my database so I can start making sure that everyone's where they're supposed to be from there and then I can clean it up on a contact by contact basis but bulk uh, actions are going to be the best way to when you're adding a bunch of contacts in from uh, at one time from your database to make sure they are cleaned up properly so I hope this is helpful for you if you have any questions about command want to see my other videos in command training you can go to my website that is commandconsult.com and you can click right here on the video tab to see all my other videos there thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time